Time for bed, Elmo. By Sarah Elby. Illustrated by Maggie Swanson. Elmo's babysitter says it's time to go to bed, but Elmo needs his pillow plumped and one more story to read. He has to turn his night light on and close the closet door. And he has to put his toys away. He left them on the floor. He has to check beneath the bed to see if something's there. He needs the window open. Monsters like a little air. He'd better make a potty trip. He has. He just might need to use it. And screw the toothpaste cap on tight. He wouldn't want to lose it. He'll want a cup of water next to him for nighttime sipping. Uh oh, it sounds like someone left the bathroom faucet dripping. Emma didn't pet the cat, he didn't feed the fish, and while he's up, he'll find a star and make a little wish. He, he's checking all his boo-boos. Here's a new one on his knee. Emma needs a bandage on it. Do you want to see? He'll try the potty yet again. He just might have to go. He'd better close the window now. It looks like it might snow. He has to straighten up the books and stack the building blocks and find the missing puzzle piece and pick it up all his socks. Maybe he'll get sleepy if he tries some exercise. Elmo, called the babysitter. Time to close your eyes. Elmo, dear, the sitter calls. Now, not other peep. Maybe you can help him out by softly counting sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Is he asleep yet? Oh my, the sitter whispers. The monster sound asleep. Good night, Elmo. The end.